think that women and their capabilities are limitless. And to see this many women start to get into this industry that is rough and tough and, and takes a lot of you know, integrity and grit, it's, it's really awesome. I wasn't exposed to construction as a little girl or even as, you know, a teenager. When I grew up, I played with Barbie dolls and I decorated my dollhouse and I, you know, I didn't grow up with Legos. I didn't grow up with Tonka trucks. I didn't grow up. We grow up so differently. I can honestly say when I was 18 years old, I had no idea that this was even an option. So would my path have been a little bit different had someone come and spoke directly to me? Maybe. It might have triggered something a little sooner. I think the first step is that we have to start recruiting more women earlier. I mean, one of the big challenges is that by the time you get to college, you're already taking a degree. Or when you're going into the trades or taking another route, you already know what you want to do. And so many people are overlooking the construction field. And it's not just construction. It's not just getting out there and finding a way to dig foundations and pour concrete and all that. There's so much planning that goes into it beforehand. The pre-construction, the VDC. So as a VDC coordinator, I've brought a lot of um, business development aspects to the team. So yeah, I've been doing 3D site logistics for the team so they can see what it looks like in real time and not just on a 2D construction plan. You know, globally, we are contributing to our surrounding communities. I mean, nothing is more rewarding than actually seeing uh, those buildings that we're building that we all have, you know, been a part of from when they were that initial concept. I really just think it's the advertisement of need. Um, like I said, the the selling point for me very quickly was that, look, you're probably going to have a job offer a year before you graduate, which in my case was the case. There was nothing but doors open for me and they continue to open for me nearly eight years later. So one of the things I've challenged our team with is how do we look for other programs, whether that's in the military, whether it's in uh, two-year colleges or even four-year programs that have the same skill set. And then how can we go recruit those schools and those programs and find people that are coming into the workforce now? Because the issues in our, our industry are facing us today. We are seeing an industry that is growing faster than our manpower supports right now. So the opportunity to get out there and work hard and set clear goals for yourself, figure out what you want to do with your career. And whether it's here at Horror or anywhere else, there's great opportunities. So let's go change the industry.